Welcome to the Anne Ellis Angels YouTube channel and here are your readings for the coming week. These are general readings so take everything that resonates with you, leave anything else behind but most importantly I wish you a most successful and enjoyable week. I will be using my teacup tarot deck and my time to shine deck as well. Aries, here are your cards for this week starting the 11th of December. And from the Teacup Tarot, we have eight cards. Slightly different layout this week again. So we're going for the beginning, the middle and the end of the week. And these are the cards in the How Can We Help Ourselves part of the reading. So, beginning of the week, King of Teacups is showing up. Now, the kings are authority figures in the deck and the king of teacups absolutely personifies loving kindness, compassion and generosity. Very often, a very often in a role where they are sharing these qualities with other people. So the king of teacups is very often to be found uh, perhaps in a volunteering role or perhaps a charitable role or working in some sort of area where other people feel better. He helps them feel a lot better. So this could be you stepping up into this new role or somebody coming in to help you. Part 21, the world. This card says it's all about the completion of one chapter and the start of another. This is a celebration of a job well done. It's also, it could be promotion and starting off on the next new adventure. So this is very much finishing off one cycle and the excitement of starting another. It's advancement and it's success. The middle of the week, the Ace of Coins brings in something new. That's what the aces do. They're all a beginning. And the coin suit is all about our material and home life. So this could be a new job. It could be a pay rise. It could be a new career. A wonderful golden opportunity showing up. And if we look at the card, look. She's found the keys to the treasure chest. She's opened the lid and here she is moving towards this golden opportunity. The Six of Teacups is a card of the past. So remembering the past with love. But generally, this card is you doing what you've always wanted to do. So look out for this opportunity, which could be showing up this week. It might not have been an ideal time before, but now it could be exactly what you need, what you've been looking for and what you've been manifesting. Card 18, the moon says, trust your intuition about this. How does it make you feel? If it makes you feel happy and enthusiastic and positive, then go for it. Now, the moon also comes with some mindfulness that says there may be new information coming to light that you don't know about yet. So you need to do all your homework on this new opportunity and make sure you know everything about it. The Ten of Wands, we were talking here about the start at the end of one cycle and the start of another and that's just what the ten of wands is doing here it's re-emphasizing that the ten of wands says relax take some time out put your feet up this says the busy time is over with the stressful time is over with and now you need to rest and relax before starting on this next new venture how can we help ourselves? The emperor steps up and says, 
get organized. This is the card of planning, organization, leadership, stepping up into this role. The emperor is ready to go at a moment's notice because everything is prepared in advance. The plans are laid. Everything is done. And this leadership quality of organization and planning is exactly what the emperor personifies. That's just what you need to be mindful of this week. Because the six of coins says these lovely gifts of abundance could well show up. This is what these little pennies are. Pennies from heaven. Look, all these lovely gifts showing up on the card. And you need to be ready. You need to be organized and have a plan when they show up so you can make the most of them. So let's get a little bit more clarification from the Time to Shine deck. Oh, Wisdom Suit. These are the high energy cards. These are in capital letters for you. This. Oh, everyone, look at that. That's fantastic. All for the Wisdom Suit is the equivalent of the major arcana in traditional tarot. And these say, really need to listen, high energy, strong messages for you. And the first one is about moving forward and taking action, but doing so in a way that is balanced and disciplined. And if we look at the card, look, she's walking on a balance beam and she really has to focus literally on balance and be very disciplined as well. So when these opportunities show up, by all means, go for them. The Seven of Wisdom, the Chariot card, is all about a movement forward, especially after things have felt a little bit stuck. But the balance and the discipline are finding out all the information and making sure you are fully aware and fully organized. The 18 of wisdom says it's time to release what's holding you back and start feeling lighter. It's time for you to fly. So things that could hold you back, for example, fear, doubt, negativity, self-sabotage, leave those in the past. Time for you to make this move forward. And the three of wisdom is the Empress card. We've got the Emperor and the Empress card. Taking action, getting busy, working on those new ideas. And the 13 of wisdom in the How to Help Ourselves card is beautiful. It's the card of new beginnings, transformation, Fantastic new chapters opening up and a wonderful new beginning. So looking at the reading overall, your mindfulness homework this week. Finding out all the information you need and going within, trusting that intuition. See how you feel about something. It's the end of one chapter and the start of another. Keep your eyes open for these wonderful golden opportunities coming in. And you need to be organised. You need to have your plans in place. So at a moment's notice, everything is ready because the movement forward is here. The moving on, moving up card is here. You need to get busy, you need to get planning, you need to get organising. And here's this wonderful new chapter, just waiting and ready for you. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you even more for subscribing. Just click the button, it's free to do so. And it makes such a difference to me as well. So I really appreciate that. So have a wonderful week, Aries. Take care of yourselves. And I'll see you here again soon.